You know, when we see food plots, we get excited, but what gets us more excited are groups of bucks in the summertime. The question today is, why do bucks form bachelor groups in the summertime? It's a great question because especially now, June, July, and August, you're gonna see bucks grouped together. You're gonna see those red clad, they got the red clay coats of summer. They're gonna be out there. They call them the boys of summer out in the fields. You're gonna see groups of four, five, six, seven bucks together. What's going on here? You know, deer are not unlike other animals like turkeys and chickens. They have a pecking order, a very distinct pecking order. And that's what you see what's going on in the summertime. Doesn't matter how old that buck is, they're still gonna come back in summer and they're gonna form bachelor groups to decide, to determine who gets the best habitat, who's gonna get the best of the best core ranges of that larger home range. So deer are gonna to come together in summer, almost like boys on a playground. They're gonna muscle each other around. They're even gonna spar a little bit, even with those velvet antlers, even though that is sensitive for them in summer to see who is the alpha male. And that is simply what is going on. Who's the alpha? Who's gonna get the best habitat? Who's gonna get the best homes? And, and that's gonna sort itself out throughout the summer. By the time antler peel happens in September, testosterone starts building throughout those deer. Their antlers become hard. They're gonna go off to those areas and live the fall in the areas that they've decided among that hierarchy who gets to live where. It's really that simple. Same thing with does. It's much more complicated with does because does will not disperse the distances that we see bucks disperse. But it's the same thing. And that's why you might be driving down the road and you might see one field with six, eight, ten bucks in it. You might see the next field with six, eight, ten does in it. The same thing is going on. Segregation of the sexes, it happens in a lot of animal species, especially in whitetails. So it's really as simple as that. It's something that's biologically wired in whitetails to decide pecking orders in the herd. So keep that in mind when you're driving around this summer. And one thing to keep in mind also is that if you see a bachelor group of mature bucks, you know that their home ranges are not going to be very far from where you see them. One of the most common things I hear about people is like, yeah, I like to plant food plots, but it's so much work and you know, it's for such a short amount of time. I plant something and the deer are only gonna eat it in September or October or November, depending upon what you plant. Well, that's where today's product of the day comes in from Evolve. Seven card stud from Evolve. This is an all season attractant that includes everything your deer are gonna need. So they're gonna be eating in those food plots from September if that's when your season starts, like ours does, all the way to the end of the year. Really great stuff in here. What's really cool about the seven card stud blend is very diverse. You have oats, you have forged turnips, you have winter peas, you have chicory, you have decon radishes, and you have clover. You know that clover is what deer really love in the early season. In September, that's when they're really eating that stuff. Early October, they're in the clover, they're in the chicory. And then some of these other things, the oats, the winter peas, the radishes, and especially those forage turnips, that's what really will propel your food plot into October, November, December, and beyond. And it's really gonna give deer the tonnage they need. And it, like I said, he who has the food has the deer. If you have food from the beginning of archery season to the end of archery season or the end of gun season or muzzleloading season, you're gonna have deer. And especially during the rut, you're gonna attract all those does and the, the bucks are gonna be following does into those food plots and the surrounding areas. Check it out today at evolve.com. It's seven card stud.